what's up scrappy peeps it's a doll from inky quill and i'm here with a layout video for you today now this is a eight and a half by eleven i do believe and it is a picture of my halloween spread now if you know me you know i always find an excuse to have some sort of costumed themed party and halloween's no exception we have a halloween party every two years i'd say and we have way too many decorations like far far too many decorations so um it's it's really fun to put on and really fun to decorate we don't celebrate halloween really here in australia we do get trick-or-treaters um but it's nothing it's 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 really nothing on america and how people decorate their houses and oh it's just i like it i like an excuse for decorating things so i'm just going through an older crepe paper paper pad to try and find some colors now you will be surprised at the colors that i go for maybe not this one but there is another halloween spread and it's all orange there's no pink there's no turquoise i know it's it shocked me as well so this one is kind of a bit more of a black and white neutral um kind of feel so for our halloween party we had a magical theme so you just had to come as something to do with magic and i went as professor trelawney from harry potter um, and aaron went as sirius black complete with a wig and it was amazing it was so good i didn't take a freaking photo of him though i think there might be there's one of the group shot which is the other layout that i'll do um, in a couple of weeks but everyone just went to town with their uh, costumes and it was just a really fun night so i wanted to capture a picture of the table because i was quite proud of my spread um and i had everything from i had petrified snakes which were just snake lollies i made golden snitches out of ferrero rochers i had owl droppings that were maltesers um i had toasted dragon nuts that were um just like beer nuts and i just oh i loved it i loved it. it was so much fun so um yeah i just wanted to capture a bit of a photo and make a layout of it because it was it was something different usually our halloweens don't have a theme but i wanted to this year and this was our last like big party hurrah before um baby Toomey arrives and this this one this video should be coming out the day after my birthday so it was my birthday yesterday and i actually had to i was going to do a little birthday get together with my friends but i had to cancel it because i've been sick um so it's the first year in 28 years i haven't had a birthday party so this is making me a bit happier to um <laughs> to do a layout about a party on on the weekend of my birthday so i'm just adding a bit of a doily because why not why not add a doily i actually need to replenish my supply not buy more but i have to find where i have hidden the a thousand doilies that i bought off amazon and replenish the ones that i actually use because i don't know where they are so that little acetate piece i really loved it was from the gather crepe paper collection and it kind of mimicked the spiders that i had running up the wall um we went all out for decorations here so i had spiders going up the wall like the chamber of secrets harry potter and then um with an old red lipstick in the bathroom i wrote on the mirror the chamber of secrets have been opened enemies of the air beware um, like in the movie and we had a picture of moaning myrtle um, under the toilet seat so when you lifted up the toilet seat moaning myrtle was looking at you and it was just all those little details that i wanted to capture which i think i haven't done it yet but there is a pocket page to go with this that has all of those in it so i decided to go for stars because hey it's magic and when i think of magic i think of stars not hearts so i tried to use up a lot of my star embellishments that chipboard brown one is from a really old october afternoon set um and i'm really enjoying overlaying things off to the side lately well all the time but really really lately uh and i think it just makes everything kind of grounds everything to the page instead of having things just floating around just 
plonked on. It kind of grounds them a little bit. So I'm going through and finding all different types of stars. So I've got some big wood veneers. I've got some glitter foam. I've got some tiny wood veneers. All the wood veneer stars that I can. Might not use them all, but at least they're there. And I know they're there. I've also rediscovered this pack of cork things. So this is an older Studio Calico Arrows and Chevrons. That star is from a subscriber that someone sent me in some happy mail. So thank you for that. And while I'm just sticking on all of these stars, today another Inky Chat podcast should have come out. So if you don't know, Aaron, my husband and I have, who is Inky Beard over here on YouTube, um, we've started a podcast for creativeness and geekiness and just chatting about the things that we like. And the third episode should be up today should be so head over to inkychat.com to listen to it or you can download it off any of your podcast apps on your phone um off itunes off the podcast apps and all of those things aaron handles the technology side (laughs) obviously i'm not the technology one in this pairing um so yes that will be exciting this week i think we're talking about organization and creative organization so stay tuned I decided to title this Pure Magic and I used some older kind of wood veneer looking um, thickers. I I have a feeling they're from an older Dear Lizzie collection. I have a feeling. Um, And then I just scripty fonted the magic using just a black felt tip. And I'm adding some tiny word stickers because you all know that I can't do anything without tiny word stickers. I was doing some Project Life yesterday and I realized that I had put a tiny word sticker on every single photo on this layout except for one. I just can't help it. They're just so cute. I just, I just can't. Let me know in the comments below. What is your guilty scrapbooking supply pleasure? What do you stick on everything? Mine is definitely tiny word stickers. It doesn't matter what the event is, I will find a tiny word sticker in my stash that suits it or doesn't suit it, but I make it work anyway. <laughs> so I'm just adding a little bit of journaling at the top here and didn't need too much journaling. Um, it kind of, it's a picture of food. It's not really deep and meaningful. So a little bit up the top, a little bit down the bottom. This this layout is kind of different for me in that it doesn't really have I guess it does but it doesn't really have a diagonal focal point which is what I usually do it has more of a triangle so you start well my eye goes directly to the red star so I go to the red star then I go up to the top and then I go down to that left hand corner so it's it's nice to switch things up a little bit bit of a doodly border because why not and then I think this layout is almost done. So my my tips and tricks for this week, let's see. My tips and tricks for this week is try and scrap a photo of food. That's my challenge for you. Could be anything. Could be Christmas dinner. Could be your favorite recipe. Could be a nice restaurant that you went to. It could be an epic fail of a recipe that you did and it turned out as a disaster. Could be some party food. Scrap a picture of your food and share it in my Facebook group, Scrapaholics Anonymous. I'd love to see what you come up with this week. And I think that's it. I really do like this one and I think that the wreath really, really makes it, I think. Mm, Yay. All right, I'll see you all next time. Bye. Bye.